Abbot's Mosque. Recently, the Adventurer's Guild has received an unusual commission, and after careful consideration, we believe that... The Traveler would be the most suitable candidate, right? <laughs> Indeed, as ever. I will spare the pleasantries, then. May I ask if you two are available to help? Well, let me go over it briefly. Our client for this job is the Yashiro Commission. Apparently, Rift Towns are attacking the roots of the Sacred Sakura nearby Mount Yogo in great numbers. Rift Towns? On Narukami Island? Yes. We are not sure where exactly these creatures come from. But this time, they are attacking in alarming numbers with great aggression and a clear target. The Sacred Sakura is of tremendous importance to Inazuma. I trust you are aware of this already? Good. Then you can see that... Is the Tenryo Commission aware? Yes, and they are already taking action of their own. However, given that the Sacred Sakura's root system is vast and complex, and faced with the unpredictability and scale of the Rift Town's attacks, they are finding it difficult to defend against them. Their main priority is to protect the civilian population, so they are actively looking to cooperate with all other available forces to eliminate the monsters. The Adventurer's Guild is one of the key parties assisting the Tenryo Commission with their work. But you have our deepest gratitude. Your confident response puts me far more at ease. I will mark on your map the areas where Rift Town appear. Relax! We'll be. Ad Astra Abyss. Thank you for comp- There are leaves around, and I know- Time to go. Let me leave you. 
into oblivion! Shogun? Wait, no! Could also be A! Oh, it's you two. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryo Commission Christ. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? You sure made short work of them! That was amazing! I'm making early preparations for what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. Makes sense. You must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. Might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself? Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. I considered this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. If the Shogun rather than I were to discover them, Yes. Perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Hmm? Why? Because she's just a puppet? Precisely. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the Tri-Commission. But Rift Hounds attacking the sacred Sakura... <sighs> a disaster? Yes. Five hundred years ago, a great befell Inazuma. Everything was engulfed in a pitch-black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil, and the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. Hmm. So you've heard of it, too. That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you, it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. But an excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Guess you can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. From the traces they've left in the surrounding area, there should be many more monsters nearby. All of them must be eliminated. Paimon feels so safe when we're in Ace Company. Having someone uber powerful on your team kind of... Oh, yeah. This color. It's similar to the color when the Super Sakura takes damage. Let's follow it. It should be this way.
We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. This stuff that's flowing out, is it sap or something? And how come it's glowing? Huh? What's this? Could they be... dead people? It wouldn't be the first time we'd seen ghosts on our journey. But... why would they appear here? Let's search the area. Perhaps we will find out. Uh, uh, I can't go on like this. What happened here? Could you tell us? Who are you? What are you doing here? Run quick, while you still can! The monsters will be back. And once you're in their sights, I'm telling you there's no escaping them! We will defend Inazuma! Until our... You... You don't know? Inazuma is engulfed in darkness! Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere! They are merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path! Trace of humanity's existence, I tell you. They'll devour it all. But look, none of that seems to be going on around here. Not right now, but they'll be back. Look, get out of here. Now, there's no time left. The Almighty Shogun is gone. So is Kitsune Saigu. There is no one left to rely on but ourselves. I don't know how long we can hold out for, but if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left at all. Don't worry, I'm right here. It's... the Shogun? You're back! Please, we beg you. You have to help us. You have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness. Please, or- Calm down. The war you speak of is over. Over? But... what do you mean? Shogun... Look around you. The grass grows green and lush, and a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma at peace, as you will no doubt remember. There are no monsters, nor is there anything else here that could threaten your life. What? B but how? I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm down. Everything... Huh. I think I understand. Almighty Shogun. <laughs> yes, we were right. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. What's wrong with him? He's gone. Paimon can't even begin to understand what... I am not mistaken. What we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. A sacred sakura can absorb and purify the filth. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the... So the memories of the ones that died? Yes. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now? was precisely the disaster that happened in... Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were local in origin, while others... <sighs> others came from the now-fallen kingdom of Kanria. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late, otherwise it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend... Kitsune Saiku reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. So, Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, 
Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Hey. Yes. For the longest time, all my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and Va- <sighs> But... After my clash with human- When I traveled around Inazuma with you, moving forward, just think of that soldier. All those who sacrificed themselves back then, gave their lives fighting for a future. As Inazuma's god, it is warriors of the path. I will never. F He's taking all this pretty hard. Leave them to me. Illusion shattered! Why would you ask that? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one go! No? You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. The roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. We definitely need to tell the Yashiro Commission about this. Hey, the same light is leaking out again. <sighs> Furuyama? Is that you? Hmm? Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. Fighting a battle in a distant land? Sounds like this guy's Allow me to introduce Furuyama. He is a tea master. Though blind, Furuyama is unparalleled in his... Ab Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune to be in Your Excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. It sounds like the almighty Shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. But please, sit and rest. After all, it's quite a mess out there. Um, what should we do? Oh, um, yeah. She 
I see. So, they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So, I decided to stay. And now the almighty Shogun is here, I have even less reason to run away. <laughs> Imagine if this was something that even the almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve. Where could I possibly run to then? Out of a desire to live on. And the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. But me, I have no such thoughts. And I have no regrets. The almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her stories. I've been blind for many years, but her vivid description... One thing she always says is, Good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. And so, people... So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life. Perhaps you are right. It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity. I'll never get to see what he... But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark once this catastrophe is over. Life is sure to spring forth anew. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling. The almighty Shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. A truly grief. One moment, I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. Really? But it's always been right by my side. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. Almighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? No, no, no. You're hum- This place is... complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. But... Well, okay. I never thought I'd... I can't decide whether it's a fine... the Traveler, and the Almighty Shogun. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, please step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Actually, I prefer to spend this time chatting with the Traveler. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. No, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Right. Paimon wanted to ask that too. The Almighty Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. In the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Makoto. He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. You and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Indeed we did. 
It was the biggest difference between us. In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. They are similar, but not identical. When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. This somewhat shook me. Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Wow, there sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material, or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature, and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that... That's... To put it simply, Makoto and I didn't understand at the time. I suppose what it comes down to is... Yes, it does. But in the la Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my pre- But now... I know- Almighty Shogun! I found a tea set. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. You are too kind. Uh -huh. It's all good, sir. She Let us return. We are- Or, perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long. As was the case with the memory we saw earlier. So... so we won't get to drink his tea? We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye! The information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. This chance won't come often, and we do have a tea set. Perhaps I should try my hand at making us a pot of tea. I've watched Furuyama brew tea on many occasions. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. The tea is ready. Please give it a try. So many thoughts were racing through my head as I was brewing it. I... <sighs> I'm not sh You're right. But the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. I've been reminded of many people, too. Kitsune Saigu, Makoto, and all the other friends who I watched pass even further back. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably lighthearted. The events of 500 years ago not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saiku, they also took Makoto away from me, 
for good. She died in that disaster too? Yes. She went to Conria alone, without telling me. Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them in her stead. But this time... The circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. Or... Perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, so that I would remain hidden. In case... By the... Yes. It was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point. So all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. Why did she go to Conria first, and not I? Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed completely and brought it back to Inazuma. That's quite a story. When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount Yogo. The tree that you know, sacred sakura. That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well. That it had existed since time immemorial. They were so matter-of-fact about it, and couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. No one questioned it, and yet its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. It seemed as if I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. In the end, I simply had to accept that it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's consciousness. With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, I- This is all really hard to understand. Kind of beyond my mind's level. Yes. She had such a great love for this land and for its people. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. But even the tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. And it's time I came to terms with it all. Oh, um, while we're on the topic, since you experienced that battle in person... Brother, you mean to say that he was somehow involved in the Conria disaster? What we've learned so far? It seems so, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the whole thing. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. And also, my mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Inazuma and the fate of those closest to me. So, I am afraid I can't help you. Oh. Well, that's a shame, but it can't be helped, I guess. Boy, both of you have experienced great tragedy. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the Tea Master's memory. Thank you, Destiny. We should go. Let's keep following the traces. Very well. 
Based on my investigation so far, I believe this next pack of monsters is the last. with nature. Once again. Hey! Hey! Uh, are you sure you're all right? You're scaring us! <clears throat> Fear not. Fighting is what I do best. Transcend. 
withstand all constraints. Illusion shattered! My apologies. Don't worry about it. Just take a breather and get your strength back. We'll deal with the monsters. Look, that's the same light again. Who are you? Uh, Almighty Shogun, you're here too! Are you injured, Your Excellency? Uh, I'm quite alright. Just feeling a little stiff. We, the Shogun at Samurai, will defend the Shogun until the very end. Come on, man! They're coming back for more! Don't! It's too dangerous! Danger is our duty, ma'am! If we were the kind to shy away from danger, we never would have taken up arms to begin with. No need to worry, Almighty Shogun. When the situation looks bleak, we will draw on the power granted to us by the gods. Is that a vision? It certainly is. I know the gods are omnipotent and their willingness to grant their power to humans means they have high expectations for us. If the Almighty Shogun is in trouble, now of all times is the moment for us to honor that. So that's how samurai of that era understood visions, huh? Nobody knew where your excellency had gone, and we were starting to despair. But now we've found you. You're right here with us. Just the sight of you appearing before us once more has reignited the hope in our hearts. This hope is the light that will guide us out from the darkness. Everyone on me! We'll help too! Huh? Affirmative, but watch your backs! Protect the Almighty Shogun! Fallen leaves, adorn my knights! Breath of the flame! Incinerate! One with nature! Witness the powers go wild! Seems like their attacks are finally over. <laughs> I'm... Thank you all. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. I'm fine. I feel much better already. You fought phenomenally. It was truly awe-inspiring. The monsters will definitely come back. And when they do, it'll be more than a few rift hounds this time. 
Quickly, escort Her Excellency back to Inazuma City, and regroup with the General's forces as soon as possible. When everyone sees the Almighty Shogun safely returning, their spirits will be lifted. Well, what are you guys gonna do? We will stay here and guard against the monster's advance. We cannot afford to let them get any further. We are brothers in arms. As long as we stick together, we can face any number of monsters that come our way. Just leave it to us. Fighting is what we do best. But the Almighty Shogun is the only one of us with the power to change the present state of affairs. Only Her Excellency can turn back the tide of despair and lead us onward into the future. No matter what kind of threat faces Inazuma, we will always place our faith in the Almighty Shogun. <sighs> Thank you all very much. I promise you that I will create a bright future for Inazuma. I should not have left it this late to make this promise. But from this moment forth, know that I shall be true to my word. Don't worry, Your Excellency. We will never doubt your word as long as we live. With you leading us, we will claim back everything that Inazuma has lost. Glory to the Shogun! Glory to the Shogun! They're gone. It was both. The people's sacrifice has always caused me immense pain. But in dwelling on the tragedy, I overlooked their splendor. The grief blinded me to how brightly they shone in their final moments. The result being that in the centuries since their sacrifice, I have dishonored their will. You could take the view that whatever I say to them is meaningless, because they are but disembodied memories held in the ley lines. But even so, they are due a resolution. I owe it to them, and to all the people who have placed their faith in me to date. Well, Paimon thinks that even if it's a few hundred years later, you're doing right by them now, and that's what counts. Thank you for your comforting words. But this is my basic duty as Inazuma's Archon, and I have neglected it for far too long. I used to think just like that samurai, that I was first and foremost a warrior, and my only duty was to face whatever challenge came my way. But what Inazuma needs more than a warrior is someone like Makoto. Even though I am utterly unlike Makoto and can never become the person she was, I still need to do the things that she would have done. Yes. They are. They are strong and resilient, and have much to be proud of. As the Raiden Shogun they revere, I should not be the one to hold them back. Well said. Sounds to Paimon like you figured things out! Change will come to Inazuma, and with it, new possibilities. This will take time, but eventually, the future will bring healing to the scars of the past. No matter how long it takes, I am committed to bringing this to fruition. This is my promise. Now that we've dealt with the Rift Hounds, this matter is halfway resolved. It does not appear that the threat will escalate for the time being. I will leave the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions to handle the follow-up work, such as investigating the origins of this incident and tending to the root system. Alrighty then! He looks calm on the outside, but Paimon bets her emotions must be all over the place right now, huh? She seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. Huh? What's wrong, eh? Come on, keep up! 
has come. Can you help me walk? I need to go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Why? What's in there? A battleground. One where I shall sever ties. Follow the wind. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Follow the wind. Finally here, the entrance should be nearby.
But it's fine. I'm about to put an end to it all. This is a place I once sealed off with my own hands. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. It looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? <sighs> Follow me. Uh, I'm on dizzy. Where do we get sucked into this time? Whoa, this place. Look, look over there. It's another A. We meet again, traveler. This body is an assistant to the one within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Should the one within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Wait! Paimon knows that voice! Is that... the puppet? You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct. But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded? By irreversible... I'm here to show you my answer. We are both warriors. And the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the Blade alone. Uh, wait, wait, wait! The atmosphere in here just took a turn for the worse! Uh, are, are you... Uh, are you all right now? The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. She cannot affect me in this way. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. The rules I set for the Shogun are... No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? But they both just want to... My form is a symbol of supreme majesty, in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. It inherits A's pain, the pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination. Courage. Love. Hatred. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, 
the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Raiden A. In the end, even the proud and mighty Oni Maiden was cut down in disgrace. Though your blade has been cleansed of her blood and filth, never shall it shine as brightly as it once did. There is no escape! <laughs> ha! Ha! Illusion shattered! Weak! The eye sweeps the lands! Inazuma shines eternal! There is no escape! Inferior! The Kitsune Sakura blossoms that once filled the skies fell to the ground as pitch black rain. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. There is no escape! Thunder, shine down! Inazuma shines eternal! The divine lightning that envelops all of Inazuma will fade silently into the clouds. shall never be another. Never. For the rest of time. Stillness <laughs> transcending. Illusion shattered. <laughs> Torn to oblivion. Strike dead. Pathetic. Weak. Inferior. The eye sweeps the land. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Nothing falls on the land of eternity. Only... Emptiness awaits. <gasps> Have you finally defeated her? It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? How the heck? <sighs> In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Then, does that mean this is gonna be a never-ending battle? <sighs> Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. <sighs> the future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change, and Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last, months, years, centuries, and no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. 500 years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices, tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree, so that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. <sighs> it is about time that I learn to trust them. I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, 
A short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. B but this means that... Pass on my words. Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. What if she gets too obsessed with winning, and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen, and then she might never leave again! Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time! The quicker she gets through this, the better! Is there any way we can cut down how long she needs to spend in there? Or, you know, help her win the fight? Well, whatever, we can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there! Oh, but we also can't get in here anymore! Okay, well, first things first. We gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain, do you still feel time on now? Um, okay, maybe if we both put ram into it at the same time, but really, really hard. Oh, you're right. I nearly forgot about her. Who knows if she really understands these consciousness realm playing thingies more than we... Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. I hope you realize how lucky you are. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. But you're always smiling! That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase, mm, the sheer audacity. I see. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> yes, that sounds like A all right. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why start fretting about it now? Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. So you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? Uh, is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! Aha! Uh -huh. You're learning, little one. 
But, but really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura. And from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the... Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. First things first, follow me to the entrance. Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. So, it's abstract, but it has a location, but you don't know where it is. Yes. No need to try and understand it. Let me put this... Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. This is precisely why when entering the plane of euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. What? <laughs> Alright, well, I might see you then. You two can go in. <laughs> Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? Sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your... <clears throat> hmm. I say... Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinary. By the way, remember to focus constantly. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake and for Inazuma's, please. Bring her back. Miko? You better know what you're doing! That's enough chatter. Get to work. Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination.
How can this be? You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. You bring honor to the t Now these two return once more to this space. An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. Final duel? Huh. So you're finally willing to... Stand back, traveler. I'm going to be the start of something new. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of nations. Energy they consumed, great enough to mobilize the ocean and turn day into night. And the will they demanded, sufficient to penetrate mind and crush you have endured. I will endure forever. Illusion shattered. Shine down. No escape! Eternity is in my hand! Illusion shattered! Shine down! This is the end. You have won. I believe you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me. To encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power, when I truly understand and believe in her. <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. It was at once a familiar feeling, and a strange one. You have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, 
but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, huh. you truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call growth. I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled as yourself your dirty feet? It was simply a new experience for me. One that, that is worth really living. living.